Welcome to HD Designed Crochet, HGDC. I'm Heather, the designer of Granny Square Patterns for my tribe. I went from corporate lawyer being told what to do to full-time self-employed crochet designer doing what pleases my soul. Now, I also champion Yarny Creatives just like you to build income streams from your passion. Join me on my mission to change the world one crochet pattern at a time. Hey tribe, welcome back to HGDC, HD Designed Crochet. Today I have a new studio vlog for you. We are going to Ikea. <laughs> Feel a little bit weird because Brad can hear me recording this, but whatever, I talk to myself anyway, so what's the difference? And we are getting new storage for the yarn room and we're also getting the baby's cot. So I'm hopefully gonna do little bits of vlogging and show you the before and after in here um like I had a little tidy up yesterday just so I could get in the room but other than that this is how it generally looks and I want to change this huge yarn tower and just stuff into like something really organized and cohesive and just a little bit less like attacking on my brain um, so I've got a big Calax unit that's going to replace this and another Calax unit that's going under my desk that's going to have all of my journals, my books and all of that stuff there. And then the bigger unit on this wall is all actually going to be against here. So it's all being moved around so I can get to the window easily and the radiator can let the heat in and blah, blah, blah. Um, <laughs> and this bit, I'm going to move the yarn into cubes um i've got like some organizers that they can all go into and then i need to have a big sort out of some of this stuff like some of it i haven't touched in some of it i haven't even touched since i've moved in here which is like i don't know maybe 18 months so obviously i don't need it it needs to go and some of it i just don't i haven't got great access to so i'm hoping that sorting out the organization means it'll be easier to get to it um and i just want it to be safer like we have kids in the house and i don't want them to pull anything over on themselves it also means that when i'm working on a project i could potentially just take the cube downstairs with me whereas at the moment i just take like a huge tub of yarn i don't necessarily need it all at once um and some of this yarn i'm going to de-stash again so it's all changed, let's get started. Okay, so let me show you what we're working with. Oh, goodness me. Okay, so, <laughs> hello Albus. Thank you for joining us. Can you please be quiet? So all of this up here, is things I've made and obviously that storage is not working and that is toy stuffing. The plan is, is to have them in baskets of some sort on top of the new Calax unit and then all of the yarn will be absorbed into the cubes. So yarn, all of this, all of this, all of this, all of this, apart from the bottom tub is yarn. I'm going to sort that into cubes. I've allocated 16 cubes for my yarn to hopefully be able to squish quite a bit in there. Um, but I'll be able to put like, that's all one type of yarn. So hopefully that'll just all go in one cube. And same with like my sock yarn. Um, that's actually all baby's yarn. And then I've got a lot of whips that I'm working on. And so I've allocated um, four cubes for whips. I have a couple of whips here that need ripping down. Um, project bags will go on top of the Calex unit as well. And then these have got whips in that one. Um, I can't even tell you what's in that one. So I need to sort that out. That'll be going in the unit under my desk. Um, and these will either go on top of the Calax or will be reabsorbed in different storage. My sewing machine is probably going to be on top of the Calax. And I think my printer is going to either live on or under my desk from now on. Um, and then 
all of my makeup and stuff is in here because I have my big mirror in here. I'm hoping to put that in a Calyx cube along with my gym equipment. And then um, my whiteboard, notice board and vision board will hopefully go up on this wall. And this is the wall that um, my desk is going to be against. And then the TV is going. Um, the two huge YouTube studio lights, I'm swapping for something smaller. And then under here, as you can see, is just, there's just so much stuff. I've got so many like books um, and journals. And yeah, so I've got these little units that I got from like Wilkinson's, but I'm gonna swap that for um, a bigger Calax unit so I should have double the storage for my journals and books and whatnot um, so that will all be absorbed on there and a lot of all of this little piddly stuff will be up on the other Calax um, and then as I said my desk is going from here to here um, and then my mirror which is absolutely filthy at the moment is going to go on this wall here because this is all going to be there and then that's going to have some nice prints and quotes around it as well so really excited to get this space just tidy organized and so my brain can like breathe in here um and so it's not a hazard to anybody and it's just gonna look so like instagram pretty so the cot will be going here and we're getting a mirror to go on there and there. Bedside lamps and um, that'll pretty much finish this room for now. I'm a world-known YouTuber, I need to do this. Hey tribe, so we just got to Ikea. We're early! Because I made sure that we got here on time. Yeah. And we're waiting for the shop to open and for Brad's dad to arrive because he's got a big car and we're going to fill it up with stuff. And then 
Meatballs! Good morning tribe, it is Easter Monday and as you can see on Saturday we got so much done, my big Calax unit is in place as is the little one on my desk, we've rearranged entirely because before the desk was that away and I had like a big unit here and a yarn tower in tubs and my mirror was there and I've gone with this setup so that when you walk through the door, beautiful Kallax and it's going to look even better once I've finished this last little bit um, and that's what we're going to get done today so I did as much as I could on Saturday and then I was absolutely exhausted and had to, had no choice but to sleep. Um, Sunday was church and then I had a three hour nap in the afternoon so we just decided to ignore all of this and I would come at it today. Um, so plan of action, that light is going to go there for now. I am actually going to replace these two lights with something much much smaller. Um, I'll put a link below of what it is that I want to get just so that it clears up some of this space um, but for now whilst I haven't got the lights these will go back up um, and then I am going to sort out this then once it's done I'll do a yarn tour um, but quickly blanket stack finished projects whips some finished projects finished finished um, I actually want to go back to Ikea and get another set of boxes so I can put them in there um, because I still have more yarn that I want to squirrel away and potentially might end up doing that today because the way my schedule is set up if I don't go today I might not be able to go for about a week and I just want this done um, that cube needs to go back up I've got electronics to sort out, lots of bags that I've been kind of using as whip bags that need emptying and putting away and then all of this here is projects that need ripping down and then absorbing into the cubes so that's what I'm going to focus on and most of that is like paperwork that just needs sorting out and getting rid of and I've got two pots down here, some whips that need ripping up um, some whips that need a home and finishing and random, random, random bits and bobs. So, yeah, let's get, whoa. 
let's get this all sorted out, shall we? I also have this tub, which is full of all of my fabric and sewing stuff. I have not touched that in like the 18 months that I've lived here, so I need to be really honest and brutal with myself, go through, get rid of a lot of stuff. <sighs> Baby notes, pee pop, how to tell I'm pregnant, and then stuff that needs sorting out, stuff that needs sorting out, charity shop, cleaning stuff. Let's do it! Quick note to add that my vision board, notice board and whiteboard are all going up on that wall, and which is another reason why I want to swap these lights to something much smaller and hopefully Brad's going to put those up this evening for me. So if we make enough progress, I'm going to treat myself with a trip to Ikea and meatballs. So let's do this. Oh, must clear off my windowsill as well. Go, go, go. Hey tribe, quick check in. It is now 20 to 10. I think I've been doing this for about two hours. Um, I set up my winder in that cubby so I could sit down there. I've been listening to a podcast, making my notes. I've got rubbish of stuff that needs to go, recycle bag, and then that tub was full. 
I've taken everything out. There are swatches that I want to keep. Quite a few will go on there. I might get like a little tray or tub that goes on here somewhere as well with others um, that I'm not necessarily working from anymore. I'm not sure. Figure that out. Um, but I've like wound, frogged most of the projects now. I just have what's left in that cubby. My arm is killing me and I'm really hungry. Um, so yeah, look at all this yarn though. A lot of this was just caught up in projects that has been sat there. Some of them as long as five years, um, three years, two years, and then the last year. <laughs> so now I've shown you, I'm going to eat. Then I'm going to get myself ready for Ikea and I'm going to quickly put away any of this that can go in tubs because I already have a tub that Aaron can go in. I have a tub that Pink can go in. Hey K Tribe, time to show you around. So we come in and we have this huge Kallax unit here, which I absolutely adore. Then we have my desk with another Kallax unit. This is Albie. He's feeling a bit sorry for himself because he's had a little operation and he's got a silly cone on. So he's hiding himself there. And if you remember, my desk was there. I had my mirror here and then a big unit that protruded out this way so completely swapped it all around and it is so much bigger and so much brighter now so when I'm at my desk um, Albie can now sit with me it's one of the main reasons why I wanted to move it around it's because he likes to sit as close as possible as you can see and so he ended up sitting behind me and it wasn't working it also means I can now get to the windows and open them, which is absolutely great. So, quick little tour. YouTube lights are in place for now. I've got my desk set up, printer, portable speaker, and up here is all stuff like stationery. I need to get a cute organizer, um, my Mac keyboard. I need to get a mouse mat because my wireless mouse doesn't work very well on this table. In the window, I have got some cute little things. Step over the dog. Um, my cow giraffe that my dad got me. Plant pots that I need to put plants in. This chest was hand painted by my grandmother. It's got dust everywhere. It's gorgeous. And then I found this hand painted plant pot as well, which goes with it in a charity shop. And my mum made this little picture. So I want to put some cute flowers in there. Um, that's got all of my wax melts. It's not going to stay there because when the heating goes on, it's not a good place. But for now, it's there. And my pin pot. Um, down here in this corner, I've got a temporary basket that's got all of my hair products, my makeup, um, my weights. Um, I originally wanted them to live in the Kallax unit, but I've got a little bit more yarn than I estimated. Um, so for now, until I've used up some of that yarn, I'm going to leave it just there out of the way. My little baby. Oh dear. You okay? Hmm. We've got down here, my Dot Martin box is full of paperwork that I need to sort out. So uh, receipts and things like that. In the white company box is all of baby stuff that I've made. I've got stationery and knitting needles and things in there. This little bit, I eventually will tidy up so that it's not mad with cables, but it works for now. And then this bit that I absolutely adore. Let's see if I can get a bit closer. Oh. This is my bookshelf Calax unit. I'm really pleased with it. So. All of my HDDC files, all of my old journals, crochet and knitting books, and then some reference books, reading books, magazines, a um, few more journals, a few more books. I don't know if you can tell, but all the books are double stacked, so um, there's two rows in each thing. It was the only way I was going to get everything in. I'm really pleased with it, other than if I want to buy more books, I'm not sure where they're going. 
but we'll figure that out. And then the giant Kallax unit. Okay. Granny Square Blankets in progress. That's a little bit of a dumping ground in that stuff. Um, electronics and whatnot I need to sort out. Loads of swatches are in that bag. I've got a whip in there. I've got all my jewellery and bead making in those ones. Sewing machine. I've got knitting needles and whatnot there. My blanket stack. Um, granny Squares that I started that I need to finish. That is my iconic bag. This is a bag a bag a blanket that i've made for baby taylor and i just absolutely love it i'm going to actually finish taking pictures of that and then fold it up into there um whip bags whips some finished objects and whips and then all of these all of them that's got finished objects in yarn it's actually baby taylor's yarn this is all my four ply this is finished objects as well and then we've got even more yarn so all the aran and double uh, double knit that's neutral i've got that's all of my cooler tones of the double knit that you saw me organizing so it's got the greys the blues and whatnot in there this is the warmer tones, the pinks, the whites, the reds, purples. That's absolutely rammed. Um, that's entirely black double knit yarn, mainly all sparkle. And then down here, it's all my pink yarn. So chunky pink, double knit, all in there, rammed. This one, uh, Aran Wheat yarn. And then... This is all of my fabric and sewing stuff. I condensed it down from that big tub to that. And then this is whips that need ripping down. Um, I've ripped some of them down. Some of it is yarn. Some of it still needs to be ripped down. And then my plan is once I've dealt with that and emptied one of these, then that will become my makeup cubby. So yeah, I'm really pleased with it all. Last things to do is put these up on the wall, um, which Brad's going to do above my desk at some point. I need to clean my mirror again because Albie's nosed it again. Other than that, <laughs> I'm really pleased with it. That's it, tribe. That's the end of the vlog. This is my yarn room transformation. I am so, so pleased with it. It's light, it's bright, everything is easy to access, everything is organized, it just looks so, so good. Albie can get to me, I can get to the windows, like everything is just spot on. Um, there are a few things that I'm gonna add, like the mouse mat and vision board on the wall and things like that, but I'm just so, so happy with it and i already can feel the productivity coming out of this room because i am no longer coming in here and just feeling like attacked by all the stuff around me i feel really clear on what needs to be done and getting it done and i'm excited to use this space um baby taylor will be here and i am planning on taking some maternity leave so i definitely talk about that in a future vlog um, but this space, the way it's set up now, is baby friendly. Like I can bring a Moses basket in here while baby naps and things like that. So, <sighs> so excited. Um, thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this entire vlog. Hope that you're enjoying YouTube. I am having a lot of fun putting these vlogs out at the moment. Comment below on what you think to my yarn room transformation and my beautiful space. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.